Welcome, if you're new to my channel, I teach all things freight brokerage and sales. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more updates on upcoming videos. And today's video is all things freight brokerage. Um, I just had just this unbelievable, just absolutely unbelievable situation um, that I can't even explain other than I just had to come out and share it. And why I had to come out and share it is, is that because I'm in a different realm than the day-to-day, -day, whether it's as a dispatcher or a broker or wherever we're at in the industry, whether we sell insurance, whether we are doing what we do, our hustle every day, there is a number one breakdown that even myself, I have faced. And I feel that why is this so hard? Why is business in itself so hard? What is making it difficult? What is making us not want to do what's necessary, go be above and beyond, push ourselves to the limit? Um, and, and I'm just going to share some things that have been real eye openers for me. One was I implemented a CRM and I have been for... 15 years working my sales list using Excel spreadsheets and or some sort of Excel spreadsheet like Google Sheets um, and and paper. And I was so stubborn. And I want you to hear me this. And if you can hear me and if you can't just say I can't hear you. But I was so damn stubborn. OK, I was stubborn because I didn't want change. I didn't want to change. And my mindset was doing it the same way every single time. I still won, but I was harder in winning. And it wasn't until I took software and was able to download all of my data and click a button and say, show me all leads that I have not touched in the last 30 days. And I looked at it and I said, oh, my God, I have not touched this client. And, oh, I thought I caught, followed up on that client. And, oh, my goodness, I followed up on that client. And I realized that there was a break in my process. My mind did not fathom that I'm fallible. That, that I, I definitely did not see that my process was broken. And when that happens, our mindset is saying, I'm doing all the right things. I'm, I'm hustling and I'm hustling, I'm hustling, and I'm hustling. And guess what? Guess what happened? So that's the mindset. The second one, the second mindset problem was one, I needed help. I needed help with organization in a way where I could, what gets measured gets managed. From the last 20 years, that is my motto. What gets measured gets managed. And I thought I was managing it by just making clicks. I called, I followed up on an email. I called, I followed up on an email. But then I would get busy doing something else and I would forget to check mark or I'd say, oh, I did call that person and I check marked it and I really didn't. But what's really the hard part was is that I would go into mentors or people that I looked up to and I would not spend, and this is the hard thing that you have to realize, is I'm willing to spend money when I need to, but I had a hard time hearing it. Last year, two, three, three years ago, my husband and I drove to California to get my daughter's um, U-Haul and bring it back to Indiana because she was living there for a while. I'd never been to California. My dad, who I'd never met, um ever in my life but you know was i guess the sperm donor um who paid child support every single month but i never had physically met him before he died of cancer when i was 16. um he was born and raised and lived in california and so just the fact of standing on that ground driving through fresno um was a big big eye-opener and a healing process for me and on my way back, that's three years ago. I'm telling you this happened just like it happened. 
I really, and I have to share it with you because my mindset changed three years ago. Three years ago, I was driving back from California and I was watching this video of this guy and he was going on and on rambling, just like I am rambling and rambling and rambling. And I kept on thinking in the back of my head, when is he going to sell something? When is he going to sell something? He's going to sell something. And then my mind would shut off. And then I had a realization that there is gold in every single thing, but we can't see it. Going back to the Abraham, Abraham said in the Bible, you can have all that you want in life as far as you can see it. Because I couldn't see it because they were talking about money. Yet we're wanting to be in business. We're wanting to understand money. We want money to come into our businesses, but we can't sit and talk about money. We can't sit and talk about the fact that I'm going to be in this video for the next 30 minutes telling you what was wrong with my processes and what was wrong with my mindset that did a click. It clicked in my head. And I said, get away from me, devil. I'm going to listen to the very end. And I will decide whether I buy or don't buy, but I'm going to listen. See, this man came from New Zealand. He showed his financials. He even posted it publicly, his, his tax returns. He came to America because he had made $2 million building websites for other people using the cold called method, using the cold email method, which everybody says is dead. And yet he was doing this process, which I believe so much in. And he was winning. But then he used automation to bring it in. And he was teaching about that. And it was my first experience to say, I want to take old school methods of cold calling, knocking on doors, doing it the old way and bringing in new technology that can now filter through and make you more successful. It was the first time I'd ever experienced it. And I'll tell you what. The number one word I got out of that was exposure, exposure. I didn't have enough exposure for the last 15 years of my career. I was behind the scenes, putting my, my employees, my staff, my workers, my children, everyone in front of me. And I was in the back pushing them along because I didn't like to be in the limelight until I broke that off of myself exposure. If you don't hear nothing today, I'm going to tell you about exposure. You need to get out there and make yourself known because exposure, that is what, how do you get more sales? How do you get more money? How do you get it? It's the more you put yourself out there, the more you call, the more you do, the more you push, you say, what am I doing? If I worked as hard as I work now as a retired freight broker agent, retired in the industry, no longer a freight broker agent for one of the largest freight brokerages in the nation, what if I put in this much effort that I do back then, oh my gosh, I would have been a multi, multi, multi millionaire, not one or two. I'm talking 15 to 20 million. I would have been totally a different breed of person. But there was one thing that changed my mindset. The moment that I came back, we are so worried about, well, no one's, no one likes us. And, and, and I put a post and nobody's liking it. And, and, and I, I, I'm going out in there, I'm cold calling and, and nobody's responding to me. And, um, you amp up exposure, exposure, you amp up when that mindset, can I imagine I got free? I got free. I, I did end up buying his thing, by the way. But I did get free before I decided it was months later I ended up buying it. But I got free, which was exposure. The moment that I implemented exposure into my process, moved myself out of the lime, out of the limelight, in the background, into the light. Does that make sense? Into the from the shadows into the light. The moment I did that, game changer game changer absolute game changer not only was i a, a habitual renter because i filed bankruptcy in 2012 because my business partners were bad okay and i'm not just saying that i i 
I am saying that they were bad. Okay. Let me just tell you that. I had not, I lost everything. And here it was 2016. And I was thinking, we have to do something, honey. We have to do something. My husband said, we're going to buy a house cash. I didn't have, but not even $500 in the bank. I looked at him. I'm like, we just spent all of our money to bring our daughter here from California. How in the world are we going to buy a house cash? And, and I was paying off debt. When I say I was paying off debt, the company I was working for, I had so much debt. Driver fell off a trailer. They hit me with a $500,000 claim on top of other claims on top of other claims. Before you know it, over the years, I spent close to 600, if not more, thousand dollars in, in back charges that I was still paying off for the agency I was working for. And I'm looking at him and saying, how, how exposure, exposure. I went back, I hired a team, I moved my company to the next level. I dreamed it. I seen it. I became an Abraham, Abraham promise on my life because I could see it, because I could see it, because I could see it. My habits changed. I was so used to having habitual ways of doing business that I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. It was my way or the highway. And that is the, what I am telling you is why it's so hard for you. It's absolutely hard for you. Did that video blow your mind or what? So much information. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications.